For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. See, I actually like to do them while I'm going for a while. I love a morning walk. Now, I do look kind of wild in the streets talking to myself in multiple languages. <laughs> But I love to walk on the streets of L.A. So if you see me on the streets of L.A. Uh, speaking in Spanish, then come say hola. <laughs> Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash rivalry. That's babbel.com slash rivalry for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. I did I, I did the hood thing like I find it real funny how I'm a CPC and no one contacted me to let me know that, that my account was locked. And I rolled my eyes like that too. No one could see me, but I, it, it felt good to do it. What's the CPC? A Chase private client. Pitch, you are one too, so don't even. Don't even. Don't even. <laughs> A bitch that don't pay her taxes is a CPC. That's the gag. Do you want are you want the, are you the, are you the, the one, at the Are you the one that doesn't pay your taxes? No, you. Oh, uh, but what? That is not true. I pay my taxes. You know that guy that tweeted, "I'm auditing about the drag queen." I think that's very funny. Well, I clearly pay my taxes because I I got audited. So yeah, I pay my taxes. All right. <laughs> um, you ordered room service at the A's? I did not. I ordered food, and I didn't. It didn't come with any flatware. Oh. So I went downstairs. Why do you... <laughs> What's so funny? Out of food, come with any flatware? It, it's it, a it, very it... extra. Calm down. How is it extra? All I'm saying is I ordered food. What did I do that was extra? I don't know that I could have said that any more calm than I just said it. I literally said I ordered food. It didn't come with flatware. So I went downstairs and I asked for some silverware. Let me show you what you did. I ordered food. It didn't come with any flatware. But how, okay, how, how was I supposed to say it? It's spicy. Um, I ordered food and come with any flatware, so I got some downstairs. And this is coming That'd from the nice. woman who who literally just like I I find it funny that I'm a Chase CPC <laughs> and I wasn't called. I I and I find that funny that you're accusing me of being extra when you literally were just uh, flaunting your 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 uh, blatant wealth in the face of a customer service representative. Anyway, do you know what is extra? These girls on season fifteen of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yeah, I, I gathered you. You knew. You know. You know. You was doing the most. This is this is not rivalry, Bob. This is living watchery. So please gather yourself and get into the gig. Uh, Bob, we're almost towards the end of this season. It's only like two more episodes, and it's a finale. There's five girls left. After well, this I, I don't know. They might bring some girls back and add some more girls and bring oh. back a bibbity bop boop bop skibbity scoop. They might bring the twins back. You never know what they're going to do. Added, this we, have, we, haven't, we haven't brought anyone back this season or done any double Shantae's. Do you think that RuPaul is like, I'm over it. I want to get through it? No, I don't think that. I don't think that. I don't think I know, I know, I know. Oh, well, you asked me. <laughs> well, just to be silly. Oh, well, then how do you want me to respond to it? <laughs> how am I supposed to respond? How am I supposed to respond to that? The short answer is no, I don't think that RuPaul is over the show. <laughs> I think that she probably enjoys doing it and uh, and is always probably striving for whatever makes the best uh, tip television, you know, from so. I mean, but no double Shantae's and no double eliminations and no bringing any people back. We haven't seen that for like at least, I mean, season 11, I think. I mean, let, let me not say that because if I was like, no, Mona, you stupid, dumb, fat bitch. They actually didn't bring anyone back in the untucked of season 13. So I don't know, but I feel like I haven't seen it in a while. Well, you do be making blatant claims. Everyone's like, actually, she did not duck walk in her performance with Sasha Kobe. And I was like, I don't know if she did it. You're okay, like, every one. time. One. <laughs> oh, my God. Why do you hate Anitra so much? What is going on? I do not. Dabob, do not start this why thing. You, I do not, you, do not hate Anitra. What's up do with you and start this. Stop. <laughs> I'm not doing this with you. I just don't anyway, know why you're so against her. At the top of the episode in the fallout, Selena has sent home. Um, I mean, no, Selena wasn't lip sync. Selena was in the bottom again, and she makes this comment 
um, in her talking head. She said, I feel like I don't need wins to win the competition. Now, I will say there is one person that this has happened to on an international season. They did not win any challenges, and they won the crown. Could you imagine that happening? Of, well, uh, in her defense, I remember talking to you, and you said that uh, by, even by the time you got sent home on your season, you still thought you could have won. So her mindset is pretty... Uh, it, it it makes sense to want to be hopeful and 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 try to find sure. a way to justify a win for yourself, even if you don't uh, try to manifest a win, even if you don't have any. Yeah, I, I was gonna say even like I I when when I was going to the finale, I was like I I feel like I could win something before I get there, like because we they still what there was three challenges before the top three or whatever it was of my season. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't see it for someone like that. I mean, that just sounds really wild, and apparently it has happened once overseas. Um, but it seemed, but in the over, at this point, 300 episodes of, dra- of Drag Race and the over uh, drug 20, race, RuPaul's the, Drag Race, the over 30 seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race has happened once. So I would say it's probably like a one in 30 chance that um, and maybe I'm maybe it's not 30 seasons, but I mean, there's three UKs, three Canadas. We don't uh, do the math right. We don't. We don't even know. Bitch, there's there's so many. Who knows? But a lot of there's been a lot of seasons of RuPaul's Drag Race, so it seems pretty pretty rare. But Stranger Things, you know, Stranger Things have happened. I don't think it was going to happen. Show. And and it, and it does make sense that um that that I mean, spoiler alert. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you already watched the episode. It makes sense that uh, Miss Titties went home on today because it was just a it was a struggle. Like I I I don't know that I could imagine. Was this her her? Fourth or this fifth, fourth one? Before. I mean, Cameron Michaels did it. I know, but but I also didn't see her winning. You know? Yeah, but it, so in theory, in a perfect world, you can be a great lip syncer, and Cameron Michaels could have done a crazy gag like Sasha Valore, and, and Cameron Michaels could have won this RuPaul's Drag Race. Again, I, I still I still feel like the gag lip sync has to, to like justify. Uh, not having done well during the competition or as well as another competitor during the competition, it has to be like a cultural reset lip sync moment that everyone's talking about. And I think that in terms of the finales, there's only been one lip sync that everyone has just been like talking about to this day. You know what I mean? Sasha. Even, even even the other lip syncs, people don't even talk talk past the, the season. Once the next season starts, no one's going to talk about it much. I will say... Asia's didn't. I mean, people I, talk about Asia, Asia and, and it not the gag is not Monet. Don't do her like that. The gag of Asia's lip sync was not how <laughs> how sickening it was. It, it was talks about you talk it about is, a bitch from now until Kingdom Come. People will talk about Asian them goddamn butterflies. People will talk about them. Yes, people will talk about Asian butterflies for a very long time. But it's a I would say it's in a different context. Bitch, I will catfish the fuck out of you. You like oh Monet looks nice. Bitch, Monet. Bitch, bitch, I went from Monet to Trone, honey. Just a Tarzan, honey. What's Trone? I don't know. It just it seems like a very butch name. Hey, hey, man. Yeah, my name is uh, Trone. <laughs> Trone. <laughs> Trone. Um, but anyway, also, she is, she's the only girl who doesn't have a... I'm just gonna let you look at yourself for a second. Then once you gather yourself, we'll just continue. I'm I'm not looking at myself. Continue. I'm listening. Work. She is the only girl who doesn't have a win at this point. Um, but also Selena uh feels like her and mistress should have won, which seems to be the the common thread this season. Every girl thinks they should have won. Every at the top of every episode, every girl is talking about how she should know how she should have was... won. Oh. Last week was the comedy yeah. challenge. Yeah. And and um Selena feels like her mistress should have had a double win. Yeah, she did. Um I, No, I think the right team won. I think that Lux and Lucy um I think I think I think I think they were good. I I I think the winners were right. And also Lux's Lux's runway really pushed her above, you know, Lux's runway really got her that extra point. Well, unfortunately for Selena, I think that Selena did better than Mistress did actually in the challenge. Yeah. So as a group, yeah. they weren't as strong as Lux and yeah. Lucille, um, as Luxandra and Lucille. Um, and then Lux Wait, has also, this. Go ahead. Well, Selena has this this like this typical Selena narrative. Like at the top of the episode, this is happens to Selena a bunch of times this season. 
well, typically the episodes when she's in the bottom, it's like, um, you know, I know, I was, you know, this week, I know I'm gonna kill it. This week is my week. I am snatching the win, and it's always she's in the bottom that episode. I'm like, uh, uh, Selena, stop. Oh, yeah, Selena has not procured a win yet, but or I mean. But maybe there's an All Stars where she'll come back and scoop, scoop, scoop it up. You know what I mean? Bitch, I mean, no, she's not. Did you hear that video of her at at Heart WeHo? No. Bob, the mother tucking drag queen. I said, Selena, Jesus. What? Christ. What happened? What was it? I'm about to play for you. Listen. I'm like, um, Ross Matthews is a is a is a is a Santa comedian who has accolades of being funny, and I get it. You do get up in your feelings, but I'm like, girl, this is this is too much. This is way wild. She but she said, everyone, everyone, take out your phones, take out your phones, and I'm sure people probably recorded this video, tagged Ross. Like, I'm like, girl, not this. Because they've been tagging the fuck. This. They've been tagging. They've been tagging the dress barn at this point. They're tagging anyone they can tag. Ross dress barn. Uh, Rose and go to back to. No, oh, this. Funny. Oh my God, thank you, man. This is, that was, okay, girl, I, I hope she doesn't listen to our podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I know, she probably ain't, but we, <laughs> I know. Damn. Pop, pop, snap, crackle, damn. I literally opened a Pellegrino. You're acting like I um, shot off fireworks in the, in the room. You, Yeah. I will do the most minute thing. I don't care what it is. You will act like I have done a full production Broadway show. I opened the Pellegrino and you're like, pop to the kick to cat to cat coon. Yeah, because it's loud in my ear. But um, yeah, I saw the video. I was like, oh, I was like, Jesus. I was like, it's not all that. It's not all that, babe. And I and I get it. I know people get up in their feelings afterwards. You got eliminated. You're like you're you're upset, you know what I mean? But not that that was that was it seemed very uncalled for. It seemed very wild. It was it was a gag. I, I was gagged. That gagged me. Yeah. Gagged gagged them a bit for sure. Um yeah. so Lux London Noir has said um, so she does a thing where, she, where they're asking her how she's going to win the competition. And she says that thing that RuPaul says you should never do. And I get what RuPaul says not to do it, too, because it's not a real plan where you say, where you say, I'm just gonna. RuPaul hates you go, how are you going to win this? Well, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. And they, I, I feel like the producer asks Lux how she's going to win this show. And she goes, I'm just going to keep doing what I've been doing. And I'm like, that doesn't seem like a great, that doesn't sound like a plan. I mean, it got her two wins. It, but but I, it just it doesn't it just I'm, all I'm saying it doesn't sound like a plan when someone goes I'm just uh, like when someone says I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go out there and be funny that doesn't sound like a plan to me. I mean I I care what you're saying but I, it, it doesn't bother me. I'm like she's like I'm just I'm, I'm just gonna keep what I'm doing. I'm I'm just gonna like yeah I'm just gonna I, I, yeah it doesn't that doesn't bother my ears holes as much as yours. Um, but I get it. So uh, the next day, I walk into the workroom, and um, MIB says that she's entering her. She has left her congenial era. She's entering her chaotic era. A bitch, that chaotic era was, has been since episode one. I was like, if this bitch gets in one more era, I, 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 every five minutes she's in a new era. 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 Um, I think that uh, Mistress is. I think she's obviously being a bit campy, and she knows that she's been sure. in her chaotic era the entire time, and she is. You know, I'm really intrigued by Mistress. Some people can be villains and get away with it, and some people just kind of can't. And there does seem to be a certain um, a certain uh, factor in who can get away with um, being a villain, for sure. Um, because, but then again, there are a few, a few black girls who've gotten away with being villains too. I can only think of one one black girl who's 
effectively Ooh. got away with being a villain. If you go back and watch Shangela on on season three, she she is a I mean she fully throws a drink at someone. <laughs> like, like <laughs> you like, bitch. Yeah. Like she is a but then like Alyssa Edwards was kind of a villain in her season. Raven was a villain in her season. Violet was For a villain. Sure. Violet was a villain in her season. Um Who was the villain of yours? Derek? Derek Barry. Yeah. Um Derek and kind of kind of Betty. Oh yeah, Betty. But Betty didn't Betty was mean. There's never been just mean to be mean and like a villain mean. Like Betty would just say that it is, not necessarily like stir the pot and be like a net. Or, or as, as someone watching the show, it didn't feel like Betty was like a villain like that. Like how like Alyssa Edwards would go up to girl and be like, "Bitch, look how orange you look." Oh no, girl, you know what I mean. Betty didn't do that. Bitch, I'm like, well, the judge was ugly. That wig was crunchy. You still there wore is, it. There is a there is a um a YouTube channel called I'm Doodles, and they do these RuPaul's Drag Race girl arguments. But as like reptiles, so it's like every birdie versus Selena, Serena Cha Cha, or every every reptile versus Serena Cha Cha, and it's a bunch of like lizards and like crocodiles and all reptiles, and then the girl that's arguing in the middle. But it's done through these ridiculous. And I went back and watched the one with Serena Cha Cha. That was crazy. Those girls were really ganging up on her. It was kind of wild. Bitch, those girls, everyone does. People are still ganging up on Serena Chacha online, on Twitter. Every day I'm seeing a tweet about her wigs, how she's shit, how she Every should kill day? herself. Like on Twitter, like like meaning like 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 if someone makes like some joke about, uh, oh, oh look, she, she went a Serena Chacha wig. It's always that. Serena is still getting beat up on. So it was wild. But in, in part of me is like, yeah, yeah, I'm sure she. I, I wasn't there, but it seems like the group consensus is that she was some kind of annoying in that moment, and some sort of mm -hmm. condescending in that moment, and everyone else in the room didn't appreciate it. But the optics of it, when you watch it back, is like, damn, they are really all going. In. Like with the ganja, they were all going in on her. Like it was just like it was from every I attacked. I mean, from every direction, there was nothing she could do. That where she could, and, and now I feel like the new, um, the new one is Lucille, Lucille, Lu, 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 um, because we're, we're gonna get into it, but we, we find out that they're doing a musical, they're doing wig loose, which is obviously a play on foot loose, and they're all trying to yeah. pick their parts. So, MIB is the preacher teacher, um, uh, Sasha is Carl, the the, the mm -hmm. husband of the preacher teacher. Uh, now, then we get to Lucy and Lux who are fighting over the character Heaven Bacon, who's Heaven. obviously a, a, a beast on Kevin Bacon. So, Heaven Bacon. So, they're going back and forth. And, and then, we're missing, did you we're, 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 we're missing someone. No, well, I did. Well, we, we got a few, but then it got to like, this is where they started arguing because... Anitra because, was the thing, again. Because Anitra chose to be the, 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 the other teacher and... Um, Selena wanted uh, Selena wanted to tuck. be yeah Tuck or Christian at some point. And then her role got changed too. So when they get to to Lux and, and Lucy. They're both fighting over the part, and then Lucy is like, "I'm digging my heels in the sand. I'm not." And this is where people don't realize production does not step in. They literally like yeah, I, I had yourself. a thing on my season where we had to like we were trying to figure out who was going to be this one band for what style of music we had, and the producers they they do not step in. Like, and there's yeah. even where you like look at the producers and they're like, you got to figure it out. Like, make it work. Make make it work. Make, make it work. work. So yeah. this is why we end up having auditions, uh, rock, paper, scissors. And then what ended up happening here was Lucy was like, I'm just not giving up this part. This is not up for discussion. I'm not giving up this part. You've been in one of these, you've been in one of these stalemates before. Yeah, myself and Trinity were, well, we, we both wanted to be Samantha in Sex and the City. And we did rock, paper, scissors. And I regret that to this day. I should have just been like, no. Well, I think but, it worked out for you when you said. I did, but maybe it could have been better. Maybe she would have been in the bottom, and you would have. Anyway, wait. Was this when? Was this on your season or the second? Season? This is this one. The one you want? All stars. Yeah, all stars. Yeah. You did two all stars, bitch. Oh, the first one, bitch. <laughs> How am I supposed to know? All you said was all stars. I can't remember. Um. So anyway, so. Oh, oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So they're going back and forth now. Lucy is the first one to say, "You know what? Fuck it. You can have." This was. It, I can't tell if if Lux and uh, Mistress are actually playing mind games or if this is just how they are. But uh, Lucy goes, fuck it, you can have it. I don't want to play heaven bacon. And then once Lucy is like broken down, Lux goes, I don't want it. Did she? 
<laughs> yes, because then Lux goes, actually, I don't want to have a bacon because I can turn out any role. So I'll take Christian, you'll take Tuck, and then you can have heaven bacon. Well, because no, but but there was something something made her do that. Like after that happened, something I think some, someone said something. It was Lucy giving it was like, up. It was Lucy going, fuck it, I don't care anymore. And then once Lucy had a big reaction, then Lux was like, you know what? I actually don't, I actually will, because I can turn any role and I can make any role work for me. I'm going to let you have heaven bacon. And then I, and then I think she swapped roles with um, Selena. With Selena. Yeah. Yeah. But, but the, good point though. That being said, the role was Lux's. Like Lux had this role because this comes up back up later in a, in a no, 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 no. What, Lo- what Lux had the role when Lucy gave it to her, yes. But it was because Lucy gave but it up, because sh- because Lucy said, I don't want to argue anymore. So it was up in the air, and then Lucy said, fuck it, you can have it. And then once, right. once Lucy let it go, it was, it was because Lucy stopped fighting. But it was never Lucy's in the first place. They were, they were, it was no one. Then Lucy was like, you know, I don't want to argue anymore. Like, whatever. Like, I, 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 I'm, I'm done. So then it was Lux's role. Like, Lux is the only one that had the role first. Cause that's true. Yeah. When Lucy says, when Lucy says that, I'm like, it was never yours. Y'all were deciding. But so you, anyway, you, you, you didn't watch The Untucked. Yeah, yeah, I watched it. But I guess the difference is, cause I can't, I'm trying to remember Lucy's exact words, but Lucy was like, I gave you the role. Lucy, Lucy was like, cause they, cause they weren't talking back and forth. And Lucy did say, okay, I'm done. You can have it. I'm giving it to you. And then on the runway, Lux was like, actually, I gave it, which is such a, but then also during this point, um, at this point, Mistress is like, I just kind of feel like you're not being genuine. And I feel like that would bother me too. That, that critique would also bother me. Well, I think there is a piece in this and again. These girls, they're 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 together all the time. They're at the hotels together, maybe doing gym together, pool together, whatever it is. And maybe there is something about. I mean, as a viewer watching Lucy, y'all spent a lot of time together the hotel. Like, like we would like go to like the like you can go to the gym and stuff in pairs. Like we would like we would go me, Valentina, and Naomi go get our nails done together, or like we would do it in pairs or the in triplets. Gym. They let us go to the gym in in they let us go to the gym like once every three days. Otherwise they're like work out in your room. And oh, no, me and they, Shay went to the gym. Me and Shay also we went to the gym every morning together, pretty much. They told us we can go to the gym once every three days. Otherwise they told us you to work out in your room and they let you go to the pool once. But also that but also like when would you be at the like what time would you be at On the, the weekend. gym? Because you shot, you shot Monday to you shot uh, Sunday to Sunday, right? We shot or, uh, Saturday to Sunday. No, uh, Monday to Saturday. So we only, so we you only had one. Sundays only, off. We actually had no days off because on Sundays we did we did our uh, our we did our interviews. So we actually didn't have any days off. Oh no, honey, the, the union came in and got our seasons together, honey. We we only shot we shot Monday through Friday on uh, on all three seasons I've done. Yeah, Must be nice. So we had the weekends off. But anyway, um, yeah, how would so, you, how would you feel point. how would you feel being Lucy in this in this like situation? If I was Lucy, I think maybe we that... actually didn't have maybe we had Saturdays off and we filmed on Sundays. It might be Monday through Friday, Saturdays off, filming again on Sundays. I think it was Sunday through Friday. Anyway, For confessionals. Um yeah, if I was Lucy, I would it, it does feel like everyone is is ganging up on Lucy, but and again, in a lot of the uh fallouts of the episode, Lucy is kind of always like like, ugh, I should have won. And she seems a little over it. And that may be why the girls are getting a little sour to her. But I don't know, because I'm not there. But that is what that is what I'm getting from watching the screen. I'm like, every week this bitch is like, ugh, I'm over. I should have won. I was better than the rest of you. Like, why didn't I win? Like, that's the energy and the vibe. So that may be mm-hmm. like, at, at this point, this is like, what, four weeks at this point? You're like, if this bitch say this shit one more the fuck, to, you know what I mean? Like, it may be that, you know? They've been there for way more than four weeks. That's how I was thinking about this. I was there for a month and a half, and I did nine episodes. They were on episode 12. And that was six weeks for us. I don't, I don't know, know why it took y'all so long. I don't know either. Um, so... So, anyway, so all the parts have now been distributed amongst the girls... The girls is this, but then um, during the rehearsals, basically, by the way, everyone goes to. It does it feel like everyone goes to Selena to like to like trauma dump or to like talk about their feelings? 
I think Selena has one of those personalities because Lucy does that to her. Oh, wait, I want to say this too. This is such a timely musical. I know Drag Race, and I know these these legislations have been in the works for a long time, but especially right now with the drag ban, this seems so like it's happening. This episode's coming out truly at the right time. Did you hear about... Uh, oh, God, what now? Um, hold on. Make sure I, I want to get make sure I say get the, his his name right. Okay, did you hear about the fact that Trump might be getting indicted on to Monday? M- bitch, no, to like yeah, tomorrow or whatever. It, it could be. There's many. It, this is crazy. It, it, this is cra- sorry to this. Is, maybe we'll do a Patreon exclusive <laughs> or something. It's bananas. Also, let's just let's just say what time it is so people know when we're recording. It is, oh, it is it's Saturday, Saturday around, around March eighteenth at ten. 7.14. 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and this is just crazy. Anyway. Girl. And what, he's what, already what, telling people to protest. And if, if, if I get indicted, make sure you protest and blah, 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 blah. I'm like, th- he's, inciting, uh, he's inciting a fucking thing. He can get probably charged for that shit, too. But he well, won't. He'll already, he'll already be in jail. Isn't it kind of crazy yeah. that, like, this whole thing started with lock her up and bitch... What Hillary, if he gets arrested? Hillary Clinton's gonna be just like, and you know, New York City is gonna go crazy if he gets arrested. We're gonna, they're gonna Staten be, Island. Oh, that's gonna, gonna, gonna be crazy. All right, it's gonna be a party, and they, and they can burn that whole fucking place down, and no one, no one will come. The smell, oh my will affect, god, the smell will affect the rest of us, but in the the rest of the boroughs, we'll be fine, honey. We have Staten Island people, Staten Islandry who watch. Well, y'all, better the podcast, y'all, better, y'all better get out of there. Y'all better get out of there. Y'all better get out of there, honey. Okay, we got we got to um, keep on moving on. We are we are we have delineated. Well, it's just such it's just such crazy news. So anyway, Lucy says she's triggered by people laughing at her when she talks. She's la- she's triggered. Wait, I don't know. She's triggered by people laughing at her. Like the like, the way she talks. I mean, I, I understand. I, oh, I, I, oh, 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 When she's talking to Selena, not the girls in the room. Yeah, no, yeah. No. I mean, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I understand. I, I have this podcast that I do where my friend like makes fun of everything I say and the way I say it and the way I the way I open sodas, the way I uh, you know, the way I say I I went and got silverware. So I get it. That is rich coming from Mister Air Here, Dear Near Mirror. That's rich. Literally, I can't say one of those words without you critiquing how I say it. So that's speaking, rich. Speaking speaking of rich, tell me more about your childhood. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't change the subject, bitch. Anyway, that's funny. Um, you literally uh, make fun of the way I talk all, all the time. So I think I okay, think there's a, I, I think there's, a, there's a commonality here. Okay, no one is saying that, but you acting like you're you, just you, like you, you coming you, to high you scot think, free. You think there's a, you think there's a commonality here? <laughs> the commonality, about the fucking hairs on my balls, bitch. Commonality that not the hairs. Are you saying hairs? <laughs> Are you saying the hairs or the? Are you saying the? Your balls can hear? I didn't know which one it was. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, okay, yes. Oh, so the, at, at the talking to RuPaul, everyone's having their moment with RuPaul. And we found out we found out that Sasha thinks that uh like Sasha's family is uh well I, again, as queer people, we know this. A lot of us have this have this history with our families, whatever, but it is cr- Christians to me, and again, as someone who I don't say I, I, I believe in a high power. I, you know, I, there's a high power. I believe, I believe in a lot of stuff, but organized religion and people, and I <laughs> yeah, know sound, these people. You sound like you really believe in it. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't because we, we, we talked about this so many times in this podcast. Everyone knows where I am on that. But like people who are super religious, like they really believe that people be like you are going to go to hell because you suck dick or because you eat pussy and it's the same sex. Like people truly believe that. Well, I mean, I will be honest. It makes more sense for the people in my mind, the people who are Christian who believe that and the people who are Christian and don't believe it. Because in my mind, there's a real cognitive dissonance where you like listen to all the stuff in the Bible and you're like, but no, but not that part. I don't believe that part. Everything else I believe, but not that. Um, So you have to engage in some sort of cognitive dissonance in order to be a Christian and be like, well, I just think that all, for me, in my opinion, that was was my journey with Christianity. I, I just had to ignore big chunks of the Bible in order to justify still being a Christian. And he's like, well, but, that doesn't apply to me. But the people who don't believe that stuff, and this one woman in particular I follow on TikTok, she's a she's a she's a preacher, she's a she's a pastor 
but she, you know, believe, not does not believe on the on the on the gay stuff, and she because she, she like she goes into detail on her TikTok, like you mean the, uh, mistrans- the mistranslations and the and yeah, the- like it's so it's not what the Bible the Bible originally was saying that this is what people have translated into and what they have made it into. So people who normally believe that homosexuality is okay, they're like they're looking at like the real motherfucking text, not this fake shit we've made up over the past two thousand years. I think it's all fake shit, but um, I'm also not interested in in, in uh, giving validation to the Bible. It doesn't need me. The Bible's actually doing quite well for itself without me, and it and my my words will not harm the PR movement that is Christianity because it seems to be doing very very well all on its own. But you are you are right. It, it is there are a lot of people who who think that you're going to go. To, I mean, I feel like I don't, I'm just not a Christian anymore, so it's really hard for me to be in that mindset because I haven't been a Christian for so long. But I do remember thinking that people would go to hell for doing certain things. That was like a really big part of my. Oh yeah, for sure, for because sure. you were because you were taught that at church. Yeah. And then when when Lucy, so Lucy goes to apologize to Selena for her behavior when they were picking the roles, or whatever, and then like. <laughs> She's like crying. She's having this thing, and then she has this like really sharp turn. I'm like, does Lucy realize the cameras are on? And then why I kind of kind of see why Miss why Missy Mistress thinks she's being disingenuous because she like has this turn, and she's like, I need to think more about myself, and like, and like she just like cuts the tears off in like a real. It feels very weird. Like watching this. Did you feel weird watching this scene? It felt like she was like putting on a little bit. Oh my god! I was watching me and Andy. We both looked at each other like. Does this bitch realize their cameras on her? Like it felt like she was like, you know, I'm so sorry. Like I need to be more selfless. I'm really sorry for my behavior. You know what? I need to think more about myself. Tears were off, and she was like, I was like, this felt very strange. Yeah, I mean, maybe she's just going through her whole. Uh, I don't. I, I do know that watching uh, during the rehearsals, it looks like uh, Lucy was enjoying watching Mister Struggle. It looked like she oh, was sure. She was, but that could have all been editing. Who knows? But it looked like every time the camera cut yeah. back, Lucy was like, <laughs> "Yeah, bitch, yeah, uh, bitch." I was also talking about Selena talking to Rue. Like Selena, I mean, from the first row, Rue's like, "Selena, how you doing?" Puddles, oh, bitch, P- puddles, puddles, the clown. She Selena gets very emotional, and she kind of says to Rue how how she's like she's like she's she's often perceived like she's not perceived this competition in this competition, and that feels bad to her. And she's neither this nor this or all these things. And Rue's like, "Stop." Rue was like, "You are making all of these things up." He was like, "He's like, just be the fierce you that you are." And I was like, "Honestly, sometimes you got it's it's really hard to shut down that noise." Though. And I know RuPaul is, of course, RuPaul probably struggles as well, but it's sometimes it's really hard to turn off that noise. That it's not even noise that anyone can, that anyone else can hear. It's just your own shit, your own literally some inner saboteur shit. And I feel for Selena in this moment. Yeah, she seems pretty upset, but she seems to gather it together pretty quickly and, and get prepared for yeah. the uh, for the challenge when they start doing their rehearsals. And I mean, I guess it kind of looks a little bit like Mistress is struggling and looks a little bit like Anitra is struggling. Um, but I didn't really think I wasn't really concerned for them because they both seem to be pretty good dancers in the great scheme of things, you know? Yeah. Um, also, New York City. Yeah, welcome to the city. During this makeup moments, okay, MIB is wild for this this Ducey bit. That was wild. That I was like, I was like, if I was Lucy, I'd be like, I have to leave. This is crazy. They were like, yeah, I work with this one girl. Her name was um, Ducey. I'd be like, this is this is this is nonstop. This is crazy. Ducey to Duca. I mean, it's all in the, it's it's all just a little shade. Or maybe maybe it, it's not a little shade anymore. It's medium shade at this point. I think it's easy to say it's a little shade when it's not you. I think when it's not oh, for you, sure. it's easy to be like, it's just a little shade, but it is oh, for clearly, sure. it is clearly affecting Lucy. Like obviously. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, um Go ahead. And then it's not the my drag queen story hour a little bit. Yeah, yeah, and they show a picture of a local sober queen here in LA. Well, sorry, let me not say that. I forgot to kind of say that, but I think she's also Anyway, they show a picture of a queen reading a Dragon Story, and me and they're like, "Oh my God, it's Pickles." It was very nice to see her on TV. Yo, love her. You are Tommy, out. Get down. You are out of sober queen. It's the last thing you do. Um, Move. What do you spend on subscriptions every month? I know for me, girl, I'll be having stuff being charged. I don't even realize. And then two months, three months, four months, five months go by. I'm like, was I really subscribed to that OnlyFans for that long? 
Girl. Well, most of us think we spend around $80 a month on subscriptions, but we actually spend closer to $200 a month. And it's not just us. 80% of people have subscriptions they forget all about. And maybe for you, it's an unused streaming service or a Stars account that never gets streamed. Enough of all that. I love using Rocket Money, formerly known as Truebill. I use it to track all my expenses, and it really has become that girl. I no longer waste money on subscriptions I don't ever use. The app shows you all your subscriptions in one place and cancels what you don't want for you. Rocket Money can even find subscriptions you didn't know you were paying for. You may even find out that you've been being double charged for subscriptions. And to cancel them, all you have to do is press cancel. That's it. That easy. Really, really, really simple, girl. And Rocket Money takes care of all the rest. Stop throwing your money away. Cancel unwanted subscriptions and manage your expenses the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. That's rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Hello, everyone. This is Bob the Drag Queen. And this is Monet Exchange of the podcast Sibling Rivalry. Now, as y'all know, the queer community faces numerous challenges regarding access to medical treatment. We're not joking around. The current healthcare system is built on the assumption that patients are straight and conform to traditional gender norms. So where does that leave people like us in our upcoming special episode of Sibling Rivalry brought to you by LGBTQ Nation's Authentic Voices of Pride presented by Chevrolet? We'll be discussing tough LGBTQ plus healthcare issues no one is talking about. We'll be taking a deep dive and discussing the healthcare workers, allies, and organizations leading the way to change we need. Make sure to listen to or watch on Friday, March 24th. This special episode is brought to you by LGBTQ Nation's Authentic Voices of Pride, presented by Chevrolet. LGBTQ Nation and Chevrolet have come together on a mission, and it's to start conversations about the most significant issues in the LGBTQ plus community, like healthcare, starting a family, youth homelessness, finding support in rural towns, justice reform, and so much more. For more information, visit lgbtqnation.com slash authentic dash voices dash of dash pride, where you can hear from people like the imitable multi-hyphenate Billy Porter, as well as luminaries like Wanda Sykes, Busy Phillips, Tyler Oakley, Wilson Cruz, and so many other inspirational humans who help us recognize the challenges and advocate for solutions. Again, our upcoming special episode will be out Friday, March 24th. We hope you can join us. Thank you to Chevrolet, LGBTQ Nation, and Authentic Voices of Pride. For most of us, learning a second language in high school or college wasn't exactly a high point in our academic careers. Now, thanks to Babbel, the language learning app that sold more than 10 million subscriptions, there's an addictively fun and easy way to learn a new language. Whether you'll be traveling abroad, connecting in a deeper way with family, or you just want to have some free time, Babbel teaches bite-sized language lessons that you will actually use in the real world. See, I actually like to do them while I'm going for a while. I love a morning walk. Now, I do look kind of wild in the streets talking to myself in multiple languages. <laughs> But I love to walk on the streets of L.A. So if you see me on the streets of L.A. Uh, speaking in Spanish, then come say hola. <laughs> Other language learning apps use AI for their lesson plans, but Babbel lessons are created by over 100 language experts and voiced by real native speakers, not computers. Their teaching method has been scientifically proven to be effective. With Babbel, you can choose from 14 different languages. Plus, Babbel's speech recognition technology helps you improve your pronunciation and accent. There are so many ways to learn with Babbel. In addition to lessons, you can access podcasts, games, videos, stories, and even live classes. Plus, it comes with a 20-day money-back guarantee. Baby, you got 20 days. Start your new language learning journey today with Babbel. Right now, get up to 55% off your subscription when you go to babbel.com slash rivalry. That's babbel.com slash rivalry for up to 55% off your subscription. Babbel, language for life. Let's have a conversation about this rusical. This is one of the best rusicals that has been on Drag Race in a very long time. This very was, good. I was watching with a couple of queers, very and um, I think that we kind of agreed this is the best one since uh, uh, All Stars Three, um, Women of the World, the one where um, where Let the Me Cake oh, yeah. and uh, I'm Annie Oakley. It's the, I think yeah. it's the best one since that's then. Two. No, that's three. Alaska one too. Or was it two? It was two. With Ginger Minj as two. Okay, that's work. two. Yeah, yes. two. Because Alyssa Edwards was two. Yeah, um, yeah. That was uh, that. That was a an amazing 
But this, this it was I mean, good. everyone was good. It was, there was nothing, I can't think of anything bad to say about anyone's performance. Everyone killed every word, every step, every move, every dance. It was just amazing. Also, I think also, too, the story was, was, it was a story that made sense and was very easy to follow. I think sometimes, like, and, like, I think of, like, back to, like, Kardashian and Musical and some other ones. It's, like, sometimes the story is so, you're, like, what? And what is the the goal here at the end of the story? This was very well done, very well put together, and the story was nice to follow, which made it good to watch. Maybe it's because they're just taking a successful play that already exists and just mm -hmm. working around that, just kind of parody yeah. that thing, as opposed to when it comes to the Kardashians' uh, story, there is no end to it. And yeah. it's still it's still ongoing. They were they were kind of creating it and molding it as it was happening. Maybe maybe that's what it is, you know. Yeah. Oh, what the um uh, the one last season, Moulin Rouge is very good too. I didn't love Moulin Rouge. I didn't think it was bad. But I didn't love it. Like I, I think some of my favorite musicals are uh, Wig Loose. I liked The Women of History. I liked Pitch Perfect. I liked um, mm, those are my favorite ones probably. How about you? Uh, Madonna was also, I think. Yeah, I like think oh, Madonna, the Madonna, Madonna was, was really good. Madonna was really good. Mulan was really good. This one's really good. And Women of the World. I mean, Women of the World was good. I wouldn't say it was one of my favorites, though. And um, yeah, that's probably it for me. Oh, season six with a door, the ballet. It wasn't a rusical, but it was before they were calling it rusicals. Oh, what, that the was one stuff? very good. They were singing live in that one. Yes, and that was very good. That was a very good musical. I have to go back and watch it. I don't remember much. I have to go back and watch it. Yeah. Um, yeah one of my least favorite ones good. was when they did Rats. Oh, I couldn't stand that one. They did it in the UK. Oh, uh, I didn't see. I don't remember. I saw it was the Cats parody. That one drove me nutty as squirrels heard. Truly. Uh, I don't know, I don't know what it was everyone? about that one. I don't know what it was about that one. I just did not. Oh, that, that one was tough on me. <laughs> yeah. Also, let's, let's, the voices on the uh, the people singing in those they were singing. I was like, y'all better, y'all better work. This is they were. It just sounded so good. I was so gagged. Yeah, they were really, really good. You know, on season All Stars four, everybody say love. That's Lizzo. Yeah, oh, and, and the song. other one, and and the other one too. She did both of them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so shall we go over everyone? I, I think I think Lucy at, off the bat. Lucy. Well, let's start with uh, RuPaul and, and the judges. Oh, well, we're not we're not we're talking about their runway looks already. We went on we, the runway. We, we can talk about their runway and their performances time and time and time. Okay. I think I'm down. Um, so I think okay, this dress is so cute. This this like I fucking love it. Seatbelt or straps or whatever the hell it is. It looks really it great. It looks like an Hervé bandana dress, but I don't. It's, I don't think it's Hervé, but it, it, it's great. This is. I want this dress. I fucking want this dress. It looks so cool. And I mean, don't tell Ross Matthews, but I mean, don't tell uh, Selena, but I really like Ross's outfit too. <laughs> yeah, I think Ross. Ross having that pussy bow, that zebra print pussy bow. It's very cute with this like wedged Chelsea boot. I think she looks cute. Yeah, everyone looks great. Um, um, Michelle looks like the, uh, is hot. Michelle looks like the dance emoji. The dancing emoji. <laughs> and Orville Redenbacher looks... I mean, Orville Peck. He looks so cute. Orville I Peck love that great. he... This like, this, like, stone flames. And having the stones flamed under the hat, that was a nice touch. He looks great. Yeah, looks really good. Um, Lucy um, LaDuca. I hated her outfit, but I know that was on her. I hated, I hated, actually, I hated most of their outfits. They were, most of the outfits were just so bad. I know that had nothing to do with them, but every time I looked at the outfit, it was just, it was just, it was upsetting. It was very upsetting. Why was she dressed like a kid? Because in Footloose, Ren McCormick isn't dressed like a child. Okay, so have Kevin Bacon's character name is Ren McCormick. Ren McCormick isn't dressed like a child. Like, why is he dressed like, like, why is Lucy dressed like, like uh, but you know, bananas and pajamas or whatever it is, the big comfy couch. I hated that. I've never seen Footloose. So I don't have no. I have no idea. Um, he wears jeans and a t-shirt, jeans and a white t-shirt, and then it holds a Walkman and wears headphones. Yeah. Um. I don't know, but I, 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 I think the outfits were fine. It didn't bother me too much, and I think her, Lucy's performance was incredible. And I, she was on. Amazing. She was in it for like. 
pretty much the entire time, which which opens yourself up to falter more times and to have some mistakes. And not once. Her lip sync was perfect. Her acting was great. I thought Lucy fucking, tur- she killed it. I agree. And I honestly, I honestly think that she was the best person for this role. I really, yeah. looking at it, I don't think that. Yeah. Luck. I th- I think that I actually think that maybe uh what's her name could have done this role as well. Um Selena for Selena sure. Selena could have done this role as well. But mm-hmm. I do I do think that Lucy is watching it all out. I think that Lucy was more fit for this role personally. Yeah, which was so funny because they were arguing her that she doesn't really see herself in it, and she was like, "Yes, I do. Like these are the things." And Mistress and Alexa kind of be like, "But do you really though? I think that's more me." So, yeah, so. yeah, they're like, it's not you. Just say, just say you want to win the challenge. And I was, this is wild. Um, that being yeah. said, I do not like this look. I and she was like, I, I designed. She's like, I designed the whole thing, and I was like, don't tell anyone that. This is not the look. Yeah. Of this thing. That shit looks it's like that. She put the those the scaly looking things at her midsection. Why the fuck would you do that? Also, and she's gonna do the web hand thing. She should have. They should have uh, made sure because it's web, but they're pockets of air between the fingers and makes it look weird they should have been like pressed or melted in the middle to make it look more like an amphibian i would like, have actually no. done mesh in the webbing yeah that or that um yeah no i i i, I do not like this look and it it's it does not good it looks like it, it, it doesn't look good and also i feel like no matter i feel like no matter what she with the exception of her nosferatu look she almost always wears the same hair and makeup it's like it, it's just it always it's like the same Quafted hair, and she'll just put it on any look. So I'm like, girl, if you're the creature from the blue lagoon, then be the creature from the blue lagoon. You know what I mean? Yeah, wet hair or something. You know what I mean? Like it's just, it was not great. And the uh, yeah, I just, I hated this so much. And I feel like anyway, I feel like if she would have had a better runway look, she could have won the challenge because she, to me, she was her and Mistress were the best. Anyway, we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Continue. So let's go on to um, Anitra. Anitra. And as we were watching Anitra's performance, I was like, Anitra's gonna win. As we were watching, it, 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 it was she was doing a good job. But it was also the editing. I was like, Anitra's gonna win, and, and everyone was like, "Huh?" I was like, I'm telling you right now, I know this editing. Anitra is going to win because they're here performing. They kept they really, kept, they kept cutting back to the judges looking like, <gasps> like, oh. <laughs> like yeah. they kept cutting back to the judges doing that. And um, I mean, and I do think Anitra actually did a good job. I do think she did a good job though. But it was. It, I don't it's kind of weird like like why were they trying to like the the choreographer was trying to like stress <laughs> Nitra out and was like i know you have a ballet but i'm going to teach you some choreography right now like the same choreography that everyone else has learned but you need to learn it right now and i was like Miguel, oh, yeah okay yeah i thought Nisha did a good job too again no one was bad i didn't i, I thought she did a good job but i did not think that again one more time she, Nisha was great but it wasn't the best, you know what I mean? And I think this runway look, like the category was like glove yourself, whatever it is. I think that everybody said gloves. Oh, everybody said gloves. We could have been a little more inventive with this outfit. Like the outfit is fine, but I think Mitra has served us some really dope looks this season. And for a go- a glove runway, I was expecting something a little more like fiercer. This is well, I think she looks good. This is very in line with what anitra has been wearing the whole season. Um, yeah. And I, I don't think the gloves are the focus of this outfit, um, which but to be fair, I don't I don't feel that way for most of these looks. Um, and I think so the short answer, does she look good? Yes. Is it about the gloves? Not really. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure she's wearing creepy, creepy Aha, that, that Chicago uh, um, designer. Um, and yeah. And again, Anitra, but Anitra always looks good. So I was just expecting something a little more. You know, give me a little more pizzazz, Miss Anitra, more, but a little more lovely. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, let's, so let's go on to on to Mistress oh. Isabel Brooks, and I have an, I have an outfit almost just like this, which is kind of crazy, actually. I'm, um, I'm Patrick Howell probably made this one. Did Patrick Howell made your other one? Yeah, Patrick Howell made mine because this, this probably you know. Um, again, I. I <sighs> It just doesn't seem like it's really about the gloves. Like it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, she looks stunning, and she did really yeah. well in, in, in the challenge as well. But I just would not see this. I think to myself, it's about them. It's all about the gloves. You know what I mean? 
Um, but, but let's well, talk about the challenge. Well, she's trying to sell the fantasy that these were part of the glove. Like in, in her walk when she was running her own way, she was like, I have these puffy, she said, I have these puffy sleeve gloves. So I think the glo- the puffs are supposed well, to be weird, part of the she gloves. Said, she said it looks like these puffs are part of the gloves, which is what she said, which I thought was very interesting phrasing. It looks like these puffs are part of the gloves. But when I looked at yeah. it, it just it just looked like a shawl. It looked like a shawl. A shawl. To yeah, me. I agree. And then, and it looks like she's trying to sell us that as part of the glove, which she knows it's not, yeah. and we know it's not. <laughs> <laughs> um, in the challenge, I think that Mistress fucking nailed it. Like Lucy, yeah. I, I think that Lucy and Mistress were the best in the challenge. They were so good. Her first opening number was so dynamic. She was nailing the lip sync, all her little, all her little things she did on stage. I thought it was so well done. And having again, we didn't really understand why her character turned in the end. Her character just like okay, but it's drag race. It's such a challenge. Like we get. Well, it. that's kind of. Um, they were kind of doing a nod to hairspray. And uh, you can't stop the beat. So oh, the end of, at right. the end of hairspray, for those of you who don't know, at the end of, at the end of hairspray, um, basically, they just everyone asks the villains to be like, "Join us," and they're like, "Okay," and they, and then, yeah. they and then they join. It's kind of like this, the whole bit. It seemed like that was what they were going for, which I didn't mind because it, it's a nod to Broadway. Um, yeah, but I agree. Mistress was very good. She was incredible. It really was, and I, I mean, I know they were like, "Oh, Monet, we get you." Like, mistress, I'm, tr- I'm trying to, I'm, tr- I'm trying to be as objective I, as I can be. She just did a great fucking job. What do y'all want from me? Like, it's not my fault. She's doing a good job. Anyways, um, but that being said, I agree. I mean, she did put the. You know, let me tell you, a southern pageant bitch will take some, 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 some fierce drag jewels and have them dangle over their hand and give you a. Southern pageant bitches love that shit. I love it. I want to start doing that. I'm a, every look at now, I just have a, a, a plate full of just dripping in sequin, just holding it. You should ask Mrs. Beer Drag Mom. Anyway, she, up next, she should have you. Let's Lux, to, London Noir. I this is um, a really creative take on on gloves. I love that she has these casts. Also, do you yes. realize that this is literally the wig from Michelle from the Destiny Child puppets? Oh my God! It sure is. This is literally that <laughs> that that wig, which is so it works funny so to me. perfectly. It yeah, works it so perfectly. Um, yeah, it's a really dope tape on take on gloves. Not not anything I would ever think of doing. Or I, I think it's so smart, so cute, and I love this look. This like alt uh, hot topic bitch. I think she looks fucking great. I love this look. She looks incredible. Yeah, with two broken arms. I love this. This is really, really fun. She looks amazing. Um, this is great. I love this. Yeah, yeah. Um, and the challenge, I thought, again, I thought Lux was good. Um, I thought she did a good job. I, I love the little Madonna look at the end. I thought that was very cute. Um, one of the looks that I enjoyed in the show. I think, but her I, think everyone, good. I, think, I think they had, like, I don't think these looks were brought by the girls. I think that these looks were oh, yeah, provided yeah, yeah, yeah. for them. So, for sure. But, but I did love all of them doing their, their, their like, their celebrity Drag impersonation games. looks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They were very cute. It was good. It was um, cute. And she did a good job in the chat. I mean, everyone did a good job. Everyone did a really good yeah. job. Let's go on mm-hmm. to, um, to Selena Estides, who I thought was great in the challenge. I really loved her performance. So good. She really would, ate that up. Yeah, I would put her like... So Mistress and uh, 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 Lucy were the best. Selena was like right under there. And, and to your point, I think that if Selena had Lucy's role, she would have shut it down too. She was Selena was very good. Like even like I would catch herself in, in little moments when the camera wasn't was on someone else, but she's in the corner. She would like like she was always in it, always acting in, in the role. And I thought I thought she did a great job. Yeah, I agree. She she was great. She embodied her character in, in in and out of drag really nicely. I was into it. I do not love this look on the runway. I I I don't understand why the it's a face. It's a face. Are those right. are the gloves the ears? No, I think the gloves are just supposed to be gloves for the sake of being gloves. But when I saw the gloves so big, I I thought. Maybe she was doing like some like weird take. As when she just came out the corner, I thought she was doing like a weird take on him. You know him for Powerpuff Girls. Mm-hmm. I thought maybe it was gonna be that, but yeah, I don't love this look so much <laughs> as I either. What? Can you, can you do your him impersonation one more time? <laughs> <laughs> Why is that funny? I don't know. Just something about that was funny. It doesn't really sound like him. I'm also not great at impersonations. 
<laughs> also, his voice wow. is like echoey. He's like Powerpuff Girls. Oh yeah, but it also, yeah, but it also echoes. It. You're doing the 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 plant from Little Fools. <laughs> <laughs> but he goes, I have a question for you. But it also has a, a filter on it anyway. Honestly, he was one of the original queer icons. Him was such a faggot. I fucking used to love him. And I remember watching as a kid, knowing that he, him was a little different. And now as, as an adult, I know why. And I realized, oh my God, him was probably like one of my first queer awakenings. I was like, that's cool. That's fair. Is this man in heels? Oh, and him was doing pronouns before anyone was saying the pronouns. Him set up front. My pronouns are he, him. <laughs> Um, let's go on last to Sasha Kobe. We gotta talk about this look. Bitch, this was such a smart and fucking cool way to do gloves. I love this, this is outfit the, so this much. This is the best. I will say this. Out of all the looks, this is the only look that I would be like, the I, I, the cat is the category gloves. I, this is the yeah. only one that I'd be like, is it gloves? Because although Selena did, I feel like I'm more focused on the, the face on her body than I am on the gloves of Selena. This is the only one to me that screams. This is about gloves, and this is the, so dope. This is the best look on the runway, in my humble opinion. It looks so cool. It looks like something you see in a magazine. Like it, it, yeah. it's so cool. It's so cool. I the only thing I, I was looking at her eye makeup. I don't know why she brought her eye makeup so far down above under her eye. I was like, bitch, she is bringing, she is doing the smoky eye down to her fucking dimples. I was like, big, why is it so low? But big black eyes. Than, big black eyes. But I, bitch, you talking about me smudges and circles. This is, the, this is queen smudges and circles. <laughs> um, but I, I love this glove look. I thought it was so cool. I want to wear this. She looks sexy. She looks hot. I love this outfit. I agree. And I thought in the challenge, she was great. I love that she played a man in the challenge. That was, I mean, everyone yeah. played a man in the challenge. Um, but she played the bushes of all the men. Uh, well, oh, yeah. not everyone. Mistress didn't, and neither did uh, yeah. Anitra. Loose, nope. Anitra, yeah. Mistress and Anitra. Um, yeah. But I love that she, yeah, she was really funny, and she, she, I, I hated her dress, but it wasn't her fault. It was like that, that dress green dress, her. right? Oh, oh, God of mercy. I would have been mad Bitch. if I was I'm like, I mean, we gotta fix this, Mama. We gotta fix this. It it, it took me back to old uh, Bob the Drag Queen two dress, honey. That's what I was getting. It was it was not great. Um, yeah, but she looks great here, and she was great in the challenge. Um, now, what's your, favorite, bitch. what's your favorite look? What's your favorite look of the night? Oh, uh, Sasha for sure. This is me great. Too. I mean, Lux is a close second. I really like Lux's too, but this is just so fierce. And my least favorite, Lucy. That outfit is so fucking Same. ugly. Same. I agree. And I just was gay, but she was like, and I designed this from head to toe. I was like. <laughs> well, Bob, she brings a drag race. She thinks it looks really good. I understand that. And listen, I get, I was on drag race wearing some, wearing some crazy questionable stuff too. It, it, it might have been, it was, it was, but, but I think because of that perspective, we are allowed and we have a grand understanding of what it means to wear very nice clothes and what it means to wear very crummy clothes. <laughs> and now we got to get to the who should go home and why. This was a good one. We, we get this question every season, but every, sometimes they're dramatic, sometimes they're not. This was so dramatic and I lived for every moment. Who of should it. go home y por qué? Um, no, it was it was definitely wild. And as so, just I want to go down the line and say who said who. Lucy said Selena, Anitra said Selena, Mistress said Sasha, Lux said Lucy, Selena said Lucy, and Sasha said Lucy. Yes, and every so time three, someone we said have three Selena, Lucy's and three Selenas. Every time someone says Selena, you know Selena was like. To give them the eye to see the face. And you know what? And it's tough being the first person, right? But I think that, you know, if I was there, I. Because when they say I'm going to send them my biggest competition, I'm like, boo, give us that's like a, that. That's a shit answer. That's a boring answer. I hate and it. During Agreed. that time, they, they admitted that it was diplomatic to answer that way. They were like, I was just trying to give a diplomatic answer and I just wanted to go ahead and, and be diplomatic. They, they, they kind of admitted that. And I can't believe they let Sasha get away with saying two names. I cannot believe they let Sasha get away with saying two names. That is wild to me because Sasha said Lux and Lucy. And I cannot believe they weren't like, no, 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 no. We need one. I'm gagged at right. that, actually. But because you're so diplomatic, it was not going to be juicy anyway. So it was like, okay, whatever, you know? But I do think um, that if, she, if they were to make her say one, 
It could have got a, at least a little bit juicy, but I'm really gaping to let her get away with that. I do not like sending home my bigger throat. That's just such a cop out answer, and we know, and we I know agree. what we, and we know why you're saying that. Like we know, right. like you know, you know why you're saying it. We know why you're saying it. Let's let's all stop pretending here. Bitch, fucking Lux going down the down the. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a, a dissertation <laughs> for every girl. I was like, "This is gonna work." I well, and then landing on Lucy. Well, it was the way she said it. She gave everyone compliments, and then Lucy was like, "And Lucy's good at what she does." However, so good, so good. Did you make it to this one? On, on, did you ever do this on your on your? I did. This is when everyone said the vixen. I think is that who you said? I don't remember. I don't remember. I don't remember. Was this when the Vixen was lipsticking against Mo, Mo Hart and did that? She did that cartwheel, the legendary cartwheel. Yeah, or maybe yeah, I think yeah, so. It was a, yeah, it was a mermaid episode. I remember. I remember now. I remember because that's when um when uh Eureka and the Vixen got into the argument on on the main stage, while dressed like mermaids. On, on oh, the yeah, main yeah, stage, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. While dressed yeah, like yeah, mermaids, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was that was like a wild one. Um, on my season, everyone said uh, either Chi Chi or Derek. Who did you say? I said, I think I said Derek. And th- that's why Derek don't like you. To be funny, to be fair, all the black girls said Derek and everyone else said Chi Chi. All the black girls, you, Chi Chi, and who? And Amy Smalls. Oh my God. Oh, <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Because Naomi was not in the top or the bottom that week, right? Wasn't they gonna be safe? <laughs> you are so dramatic. It's so extra. I can't. I can't. I cannot. Um, Naomi, I want to validate your blackness. Um, so anyway, well, she doesn't need you to validate her blackness. She's good. And she doesn't need you to invalidate. <laughs> Who do you think <laughs> should go home? Who do you think should go? Who do you think should go home? Huh? If I was there, I would have said Selena. She doesn't have any wins, and she's lipsing the most times. And yeah, that's what I would have said. Who would you have said? I would have said Selena too. But the reason you said it is basically what Lucy said. And then for some reason, Lucy was like, Selena was not going to let, of all the girls, three girls said her name. She was like, I'm going to zero in on you. But I think it's because earlier in that day, the trauma uh, Lucy... Lucy confided in her and she was like, okay, yeah, I'm here for you, girl. And then she was like, and, and I would like to send you home. So I, I'm That's shady. how would I feel if I was, if, but also, I mean, is, is that shady? If that's her real opinion, like if, if I think you, if I, if, if, if I'm your friend, like part of me is like, yeah, we're friends, but also like, I don't think you, I don't think that someone else should go home over you just because you let me tell you about my trauma. Is that I, shady? I would be like, Yes, I'd be like, because you're like, I'm so happy you're here for me. I'm happy with sisters and we're in this together. And I'd be like, but you should go home because you suck. That's shady. Then don't come and don't come and talk to me, bitch. I don't think that, that Lucy says she sucks. <laughs> but obviously, but tell me I should go home and that, I, I, that I, you don't think I should win a competition. Like, you want me to leave. Like, that's shady. But then again, to also to be, I don't think it's shady because to be fair, it's, it's not like, it's not like Lucy just offered this information of her own the way that Mistress did in the in the untucked mistress was like well what i said on stage was um was uh was sasha but actually it should be you lucy <laughs> and that was completely unprovoked unnecessary there was no reason to say it no one asked <laughs> no one asked she just was just like i just want you to know that i told rupaul <laughs> and, and you know i'm telling the truth she goes i want you to know that i told rupaul that it should be sasha but in reality I think it should be you. And then she goes, I'm just kidding. <laughs> like, what the fuck is going, like, wh- what is happening? <laughs> I will say, it's making this, it's making it spicy, though. It's, make, it's giving us good untucked, good TV, so. Like, unprovoked, okay, out of nowhere. Not asked, no one even asked her this. But then, I, you know, I actually think that Lucy answered it in a really honest way. I think that Lucy did not, you know, pull a, well, you let me borrow this shirt. You know what I mean? She she just straight up said, I don't think you're doing as well. 
not based on my critiques, based on the judge's critique. I think you have received the worst critiques. That's another thing. Lucy didn't say you're doing the worst. She said she's received the worst critiques. Yeah. She didn't say, I think you're doing poorly. She said the judges think you're doing poorly. And therefore, based on their judgment of you, I think you should go home. Yeah, I, I agree. I think Lucy answered it in a very diplomatic way. That wasn't but, diplomatic. You know, Actually, it wasn't diplomatic. I think what the it other was girls did. I think what the other girls doing was diplomatic. It was pageantry. What 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 Sasha and, and Mistress were doing, sit on my big competition. That was diplomacy and 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 pageantry. And I think that what Lucy what Lucy did was actually the most earnest, honest answer. Well, I guess that's true. Well, you know what? Listen, she entire episode, she's kind of been. But again, I think this is. We kind of just look at this. This episode does not exist in a vacuum. There have been other episodes before this where Lucy has exhibited behavior that's rubbed people the wrong way, and this is this is this this, this is a this is, this is a building up to this point. Like she has been having this rapport with these girls for the past uh, ten weeks. Uh, no, so what? What happened in weeks? So it's not that it just happened overnight. This is this is a long time coming. So you know she can't be upset about it because this is her relationship she's built with these girls. This rapport. Well, who can't be upset about it, Lucy or Lucy? Well, she can't be upset about it. I mean, she, sure, she can be upset about it, but as if you're watching it, like I, I understand that this has been building up. Like every week, she's kind of had this discourse with these girls. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, it doesn't make it less upsetting, you know. I'd no, like, sure, she can, I'm, she, I'm can, still she can be upset. She wanted. Everyone, everyone thinks I'm um, fake, and but, uh, yeah, I would have been. I would have been like, I mean, she didn't. And she didn't seem to be like, why, bitch? Like Anitra said to her, Anitra said Selena, and Mistress said Selena. So did I just don't know. Say what, Selena, I wrote that down. I don't think oh, wait. so. Oh no, no, Mistress no, no did sorry, not say Selena. sorry, sorry, no, no, no. Luck said Lucy. Selena said Lucy. Wait, I wrote down that Mistress said Selena. Why did I write that down? Mr. No, Tanase Selena. No, I wrote Sasha. Never mind. Sorry. So let me. Re- I, the, the names look so similar. Sasha Selena looks similar when I read them down. Lucy said yeah. Selena. Anitra said Selena. Mr. said Sasha. Lux yes. said Lucy. Selena said Lucy. And then Sasha said Lucy and Lux. Yeah. Yeah. That was what happened. Um, yeah. So, so yeah, now, when RuPaul chooses the bottom two, do you think that's why L- Lucy ended up there? Because Lucy's performance was so good. She, in my opinion, there's no fucking way she should have been in the bottom at all. She did a yeah. great job in the, in, the, in the challenge. Well, I do think everyone did a good job. I do think Lucy did a did a particularly great job, but Lucy also had a particularly bad runway. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is, I think it's one of those instances where the runways really do matter. And Selena and, and do Lucy are the worst the, runways. I bear, bada bing, bada boom, as they say in New York City. Um, I'm from New York City, so I, I don't have No one says here. I'm New York City. No, I'm from New York City, I'm not talking. Bada no one bing, bada boom. Um, I'm, I'm in New York oh, City, yeah. and I'm, I just said, I'm in New York City, and I said bada bing, bada boom. No one so. says that. I mean, I'm Anyways. literally in New York City. And I said, bada bing, bada boom, so. We, prove it. Go out, go outside and, and, and buy it and go to the corner store. Prove it. I'll be back. And I'm back. <laughs> First of all, that comes in your room. I know exactly what hotel you at, so don't try it. Try these nuts. <laughs> and they're salty. Like 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 them chips. Anyway, um, so we found at the bottom two are Lucy and Selena. And you know, I don't think anyone crushed the other one in this lip sync. It's this song to me is giving very very boy's mind it's very middle of the road and yes it's a very popular song because of uh, Sh- Sh- stranger things but like it's not a song that like like has like a big payoff like it's kind of it stays very mid so this this may be a hard song to listen to but that being said when selena did the hand reveals i thought that was at least something and something a little fun but i think at this point the judges were like this is your fourth time and i don't I was- think it's gonna work out i was watching like, i can't remember who but someone was like isn't kate bush dead i was like no no, not at all. Kate Bush is, is very much alive, and she's not that old. She's in her 60s. She's not that old. Um, not that you have to be over 60 to die. Um, but anyway, I think that... It does help, though. It doesn't hurt. It certainly doesn't hurt. Um, it actually does. Being 60 hurts. Um, to die. Well, that's peaceful ways, of allegedly. What do we know? None of us have died. Well, some, there's someone Let's out there. If, you, Can if, we you, have- if you've died, if you've died, if you've died... As 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 uh, Winnie Williams said, put your hand. I don't know what you're agreeing to. I want to hear the thing before I start shaking your hand. Put your hand down. You want to shake your hand before I hear what you're about to say? Can you give me a bl- a death pack that that we that we're gonna try our best to die at the same time? Uh, absolutely not. Why? 
I don't want to try to die at the same time as you. What if what if you're rushing off to it? What if what if you want what if you're the head in there quicker than me? <laughs> I mean, I don't know what my death will be, but I just have this feeling that I'm gonna live like way longer than I need to. Like I have this feeling I'm gonna be like so old and so in pain and so raggedy and so broken down. And I I feel like uh, like around like 10 years before I die, I'm gonna be like, I should have died 10 years ago. And then another 10 years and then I'll die. That's what I feel for me. Remember when you went through that thing when you wanted to record your death video or whatever it is every year to be played at your funeral or some weird Can shit? Can you stop putting my business out on the street? This was never public you, information. You talked about it on the podcast. Yes, you did. You absolutely did. Mm, we'll see. And maybe I have recorded my video. No, because you'd ask me to be in it. No, it's gonna be a solo video. It's not. A, it's not a podcast. Bitch, you record your own video. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a podcast. You think I want to argue with you in my in my in my last video I ever put out? You think I want to be arguing oh. with your with your black ass in my last video I put out, bitch? Wow. First of all, I'm not black and brown. Not one of those. Um, <laughs> I'm not one of these. You're like, like, I'm not. I'm not African American. I'm American. And Oprah. So, yeah, um, the, when people say that to me in middle school, I used to be like, bitch, you're black. What the fuck are you talking about? Nah, I'm not black. I'm brown. And my idea to anyone who's listening who, who doesn't know, my idea was that I was going to every year record a video and have it scheduled to release on like January 1st. And it's going to say, if you're watching this video, I'm already dead. Um, but then every year I don't die, I'll just reset the video. And then every couple of years, I'll probably do a new one. I don't think I need to do one every year. I think I can do one every couple of years, every five years, maybe. Bob, the amount of things that happen in the span of a year, you would have to do one every year. So much happens in your life, and your career. Like I'm not recapping. It's not a recap of my life. It's just like a thank you so much for everyone who's supported me um, throughout my career and my life. It's not like a, and then this year I did this. Who gets to release it? Can I release it? I, I, I want to put it on. I, no, I'm gonna put it on my YouTube. It's on my YouTube page, and it is scheduled to be released on the first of January every year. Bob, who? Why? No, I want to monetize it. You can't want to. I think I've given you enough, Nepo baby. Bitch, Nepo baby. Anyway, so Selena Estides loses the lip sync and she goes home. But you know, there's always all stars. Like you can't like oh, according according to, according to that Ross video, oh. there might not be. She said, right. did she say, f- f- what does she say? Fuck you, faggot. What do you know about fashion? I think, yeah, fuck that faggot. It's a little harsh, but, you know, yeah, anything can happen. <laughs> um, Yeah, people have been much harsher to the judges and RuPaul and, and still made it back. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah. But anyway, long story short, Selena has gone home. Anitra won the challenge. Um, I don't think that I don't think that Lucy crushed her on the lip sync, but I but I do think that it was time for Lucy for us for Selena to go Selena. home. Yeah, and that leaves only five girls, Bob. Bob, we're or we're in 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 theory. I think we're two episodes away from the finale, which I cannot wait to see. Did not see the fourteen have a top five? Yes, they maybe did. Maybe it's next. Maybe maybe next week's the finale. We don't. <laughs> okay. I know. Who knows? I would like to go back to a top three format. That would be that would be nice for me. I hope. Here's my hopes. I hope it's top three, and I hope it's similar to what it did last season, where you get to prepare a number. Like last season, the finale performances were so fucking good. It was so entertaining to watch. Seeing and people got everything. They got they got prepared numbers, and there was a, a final lip sync for the finals one. So I would really like them to go back to. S- prepared numbers that, like I remember the one that, one that really sticks in my mind is Diabetes number was so good when she did that outfit and she when she went down it flipped into those feathers and it looked like she was mm-hmm. like some type of alien creature like I really 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 hope we get to do that next year I really hope so I mean this year for the for the finale it was good I, I believe that but if, baby if they do that baby if they do that look right now people already think Ooh. that no one can. If people already think that no one can touch Sasha, if they get to make their own numbers, Sasha's going to fucking. <laughs> oh my god, that sound is so. I can't. Colleen is reacting. Colleen is reacting. 
Um, yeah, no, it is. It, she's going to y'all just go watch Sasha 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 Kobe's um, Miss Continental performances. They're just bananas. Um, I think the person who will give her much for money is Mistress Isabel Brooks. Mistress, Mistress Isabel Brooks is from a legendary family. They are all pageant dominators, and they're probably all going to put their minds together and, and create like. That's why I hope that I hope we get to see that so we see what these girls can go home and create like some really dope stuff. So we'll Mistress see. Mistress Isabel, Mistress is a runner up. Is what she is. Uh, you know what, Sasha? This is Sasha Colby. Sasha could be the loser. Know that. <laughs> Well, uh, Lux London, Lux Loser. <laughs> <laughs> no, honey. Lucy, Lucy LaDuca, Lucy La Loser. Okay? <laughs> oh, uh, Ross Matthews, uh, fuck that faggot. All right, we're done. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, that video is wild. Okay, sorry, we can't, we can't go back to the video. I can't, I can't. That's the wild. Anyway, um, Bob, this has been such a nice time talking with you. I hope I that... Agree. Your journey in New York City is fun, and I want to leave this podcast on a light, happy note. I love you so Nigga, much. Fuck you, fuck you. First of all, let me just let me end it on my note. <laughs> <laughs> my note is a, is an E above high C. No, um, listen. Um, what the did e I do? Flat above high C. E flat. What I'm going, what I'm going to, uh, to today's the last day of my. I, I was gonna try to do a bearded, a bearded drag look. But I didn't get a chance to get my beard shaped up. I wanted to get my beard. I don't, I don't know why I'm telling you what I was going to do if I'm not going to do it. I wanted to go to someone to get my beard cut. It's like a really interesting look. And then do some like crazy Keisha Carr, Danny Beard drag look. But I'm I'm shaving tomorrow for the for me and Pep's uh, comedy show. Oh, uh, work. Uh, I would have come to see your comedy show. You don't ever invite me or tell me anything. I would have come. Well, you know, you you just saw you just saw me do comedy in in New York City, like literally. Yeah, and it was tired. I'm kidding. It was actually great. It's so great. I love you so much. <laughs> See, I love you how very nice much I am. Too. I'm so nice. That's you. That's you. Be you then. I'm so nice. <laughs> Be Can you, you I have to go. Be I nice. can't with these utensils. Everyone have a good night. <laughs> Thank you for coming out tonight. Thank you all for coming out tonight. My name is Monet Exchange. Stick around for Bob the Dragon and Peppermint. Y'all have a good night. Thank you so much. Please Thank stick you. around like it's the next show. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs>